My wife and I, as well as her parents, had set up camp in the Medicine Bow National Forest in Carbon County, Wyoming, near Encampment, Wyoming, and National Forest 71 Road. There was a clearing for a campsite surrounded by pine and aspen trees. There was also a small creek nearby, and just past it was an open meadow. Our camp consisted of a fire ring, a cooking table, large tent, and three vehicles. Her parents slept in the tent, whereas my wife and I slept inside our truck. I awoke at 5.30 a.m. to go elk hunting. It was dawn and the sun was just starting to rise. It was light enough to see across the camp. The temperature was in the mid-30s Fahrenheit, and it did not freeze the night before. I got dressed in the truck cab, then exited the cab and continued to get my hunting gear ready. I had gotten a late start, and it was beginning to lighten up outside. My wife later told me, though, she sat up in the truck for a second and out the back window saw a black figure run between her parents' tent and the third vehicle. She had only seen the figure for half a second and had only seen the torso up. She had just woken up and interestingly around the edges of the truck window was a little fog, so she initially thought it was me, but I was still standing between the truck and the second vehicle. She lay back down, however, and got to thinking about what she'd seen. Then she sat back up again and started watching me move around the camp. I was wearing my camo overalls and a camo coat. I moved slowly and sluggishly as compared to what she'd just seen. Without knowledge of what had happened, I soon left to go hunting. I was later told, maybe 10 minutes afterwards, my wife's brother pulled into the campsite and parked his vehicle and walked into the woods to go hunting with no inkling of my wife's sighting. He too was dressed in camo and was nowhere near as smooth and fluid as what she'd seen running. The animal she saw was black. It almost looked like it was wearing a hoodie with the hood up. There was no distinction between the head and the shoulders. She told me it was smaller than me, both in height and in weight. I'm six foot, 230 pounds, but it looked slender. What impressed her the most was the speed and the smoothness of the running motion. This thing was fast. She could not imagine another person being in our camp. There was a road up a hill next to our campsite and she told me hunters were driving by here and there probably no more than four to five cars all morning. There were hunters all over the forest. The keys were in our four-wheeler and all the vehicles were unlocked. So if it was a person nosing around, there was nothing left out of the night before for someone to steal from camp other than the vehicle. It took my wife 15 minutes of running the scenario through her mind over and over to realize what she'd seen. But it was too late to get out and look for the animal. So she stayed in the warm truck a little longer until her parents started moving around camp. She told me she looked all over the campsite for any prints, but found none. It had rained a day before and the ground was 
somewhat wet, but she was unable to leave a footprint herself. She even tried jumping to make a print. She weighs 150 pounds. Coincidentally, her father made a comment that something was making noise all night by the creek. He thought it was probably a porcupine. Later, she asked me if I'd seen anything when I returned before explaining what had happened. And I had not. And I'm a very observant person. She also explained to me that the day before, she had been at the campsite alone with our dog for two hours and felt like she was being watched. <laughs>